Hello, lovely to see all of you again and I hope you're all well. Now today is a very exciting day because it's the beginning of Advent, which is our getting ready time before Christmas. Now I know some people have put up their Christmas decorations already. I haven't in my house because for me this time is very much about getting ready, about thinking about Jesus and what he means to us and to this world and so we've got Advent decorations for that. So here you can see our Advent calendar that we get out every year. It has little pockets on it with the numbers on and we put a little decoration in each one that then goes onto the tree when we look in the pocket for each day. And we also have an Advent candle. I don't know whether you can see but you burn down a little bit on each day as you go through Advent. And it's a very good point to um, have a quiet point in the day, to all sit round, to light the candle, to think about everything good that's happened in that day. So, oh, I'll put it down before it falls. Those are our Advent decorations. And also you can see up here, um, that's a colouring one that you can download from the internet. And it's a picture of an Advent wreath, which has the five candles on it. So there's one for each of the Sundays in Advent, and then one for Christmas Day itself. And you can colour it in or decorate it, or you might have an advent wreath like that at home. And the other thing that's going on at the moment is some people are doing what they call living advent calendars. So they're putting up displays in their window for other people to see as they walk by. And I know that Long Marsden and Wilson are both doing that, and I think some of the streets in Tring are as well. So keep your eyes open for these wonderful advent calendars. And next week we will be back in church. Yay! And next Sunday the 6th is also going to be our Christingle celebrations. There'll be services in Tring and Aldbury and you have to book up for those. But there's also an online service that will be on our website that you can follow at home. If you want to pick up the things to make a Christingle from us, then go on our website and book that in. Or you can make your own one at home. Whatever you do, please donate to the Children's Society, because that what, that's what Chris Dingle is all about. So, after all those notices, let us begin. Come Holy Spirit, make us one. Come Holy Spirit, give us your gifts. Come Holy Spirit, hear our prayers. Come Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. And our first song is the wonderful one, Make Way. <laughs> Thank you. 
time for our sorry prayers. And for this one, I haven't got any particular actions for you to do, except your eyes. Because when we're thinking in Advent, we think very much about looking for the right way um, and looking for the way that's lit up for us. So when we say the bit that we're sorry for, we're going to scrunch up our eyes. And then when we say forgive us, we're going to open our eyes. Are you ready? Creator of all, when we're impatient and want instant results, forgive us. When we want bright certainty without the risk of faith, forgive us. And when we want to keep control rather than to offer love, forgive us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Deliver us from all our sins and strengthen us in all goodness. Amen. And now we're going to think about what this time means to us. Everything is changed. It's now the time of the colour purple. Purple is the colour of kings and queens. No one could wear purple in those days except royal people. Roman citizens could wear a little stripe of purple, but that was all. Purple is a serious colour, and something serious is about to happen. A king is coming, but he is not the kind of king that people thought was coming. This king had no army, no great house, and no riches. This king was a baby who was born in a barn. The king who was coming is still coming. This is full of mystery. You know, mystery is hard to enter sometimes. That is why this time of Advent is so important. Sometimes people can walk right through a mystery and not even know it's there. This time of year, you will see people being busy, buying things, cooking things, planning but they will miss the mystery. They don't know how to get ready, or maybe they just forgot. The church learned a long time ago that people need a way to get ready to enter or even come close to a mystery like Christmas. The church sets aside four weeks to get ready. This is such a great mystery that it takes that long to get ready. And during this time, we are all on our way to Bethlehem. We are all making the journey. We are all getting ready to enter the mystery of Christmas. So let's go with the prophets, the holy family, the shepherds, the angels, the magi, and all the rest to make the journey that was not just back then. It's also now. This is our first candle. A candle of hope and it reminds us of the prophets. The prophets are people who come so close to God and God comes so close to them that they know what is most important and they pointed the way to Bethlehem. They didn't know exactly what was going to happen there, but they knew this was the place. And this Sunday is the time we remember the prophets. So here is the hand of a prophet pointing the way to Bethlehem, showing us the way too. Stop, watch, pay attention. Something incredible is going to happen in Bethlehem. This is the light of the prophets. 
Let's enjoy the night. Prophets are the people who know the most important things. They knew which way to go. They're the ones who showed us the way. Now we can go to Bethlehem, too. I want to show you something very strange and very important. I want to show you what happens when the light is changed. Sometimes people don't pay attention to this. They miss this part. Look, do you see how the flame is in just one place now? It's right here. But when I change the light, it will no longer be in just one place. You can't see it after it spreads out all over the room, but it is there. Wait. Do you see it? It's no longer just in one place. Now it's spreading out, getting thinner and thinner as it fills up the room with the light of the prophets. Anywhere you go in this room, you'll be close to the prophets. One of us might even be a prophet. Prophets pay attention. They know things. So, that's helped us think about what this time means, about the prophets who are the people who are close to God, who showed us the way to go. And as I said, this is all very much about thinking which way to go and making sure we're on the right path and doing the right things. And, see, I haven't, there we go. For me, <laughs> these are really important about helping me see the way, knowing that I'm doing the right thing. Having said that, I'm going to take them off, but these help me see. And so what we're going to do is make some glasses to remind us. So here we are. I've just cut them out of a piece of cardboard. Um, if you're going to cut out the holes in the middle, remember, be very careful if you're using sharp scissors. You can do it out of paper, but cardboard I thought I wouldn't make such a mess of. And then decorate them. I went a bit overboard on the purple theme, I think, didn't I? If I show it, no, whoops, if I show it that way, you can see a bit more. But I coloured them in purple felt tip, found some purple stickers, because purple's the colour, obviously, as we heard. I'll put some glittery bits on, because you can always have glittery bits. But at the top are the two most important words that the prophets told us that we hear so often. Watch and be ready. What do you think? they suit me. Watch and be ready. Hmm? <laughs> they go very nicely with this as well, don't they? And you can make lots of these if you want to, decorate them in lots of different ways. You can stick them up in your windows. Um, but it's a reminder to us that this is what all these days are about, that we're watching and we're listening and we're getting ready. There we go. Oh, look, I even get the glitter, glitter a bit, don't I? my snazzy spectacles to help me see God's way. And in our prayers today, I think it will be really good if we use candles. Now, if you've got a responsible grown up with you, you can use a proper candle. I haven't, but what I have got are some of these little ones. Are we focusing all right on the, on the picture? No, it's not happening, is it? there. So I've got those and of course the other thing you can use for the candles in your prayers are if you made candles the other week when Sarah was um, showing you how to do those, the loo roll candles. Um, and if you've got lots of those then each time we say a prayer we put forward one of our candles, whatever sort they are, whether they're real ones if you're doing them all together with your family, whether they're little battery ones like mine, whether they're ones you've made. And the response to the prayer is shine your light. Jesus, light of the world, on those who are grieving, shine your light.
on those who are in despair. Shine your light. On those who are held as slaves, shine your light. On those who are homeless, shine your light. On all who struggle, shine your light. On all your people, shine your light, that we may become lights in your world. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. God will guide our feet in the way of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. So let's offer one another a sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. And now we're going to sing our next song all over the world. <laughs> goes well. I hope to see you all soon. Light in our darkness, hope in our despair, be with us in this week ahead. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you all now and forever. Amen. Bye. <laughs>